יש מזג אוויר טוב בחוץ, which means there's a good weather outside. ברק הוא מיוחד. Hello mga kaunikos and mga kaunikas, welcome back to another vlog. So as you can see in the title, may isi-share ulit ako sa inyo na 10 basic Hebrew words that starts with letter Bet. So kung natatandaan nyo dun sa ating previous vlogs, ang i-share ko sa inyo ay part 3 ng ating basic Hebrew words that starts with letter Aleph. And kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yun, ilalagay ko yung link down in the description box below o kaya naman dito sa card. Dito sa taas, kung interesado kayong matuto ng Hebrew language, of course. And before tayo mag-umpisa, katulad ng mga sinasabi ko sa ating mga previous vlogs, magdi-disclaimer po muna ako na hindi ako native speaker ng Hebrew language. So for sure, here and there, makakarinig kayo ng mga shgiot or mga errors. And ngayon pa lang po, pagpasensya nyo na, just please bear with my pronunciation, okay? And aside from that, kung bago ka lang dito sa channel ko and hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe, then please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button beside it para ma-notify ka every time na meron akong upload na bagong video. So yun, huwag na natin patagalin and kung kayo interesadong matuto ng Hebrew language kasama ko, then please keep on watching. Okay, yung ating first word is the word bevakasha. 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 So ano yung English translation ng word na bevakasha? So that is please or pwede rin naman na you're welcome. So double yung kanyang meaning, okay? Ulitin ko, please in Hebrew is bevakasha or you're welcome, okay? So example natin dito is at yohola la tetli itatik bevakasha. So ulitin ko, at yohola la tetli et hatik bevakasha. So yung kanyang English translation is can you give me the bag please? Okay, yung ating second word is the word good luck. So, ano yung good luck in Hebrew? So, good luck in Hebrew is Behatzlacha. 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 Okay? Behatzlacha machal. So, ulitin ko. Behatzlacha machal. Which means good luck tomorrow. So, yung ating third word is the word morning. So, ano yung kanyang Hebrew translation? So, morning in Hebrew is Boker. 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 Okay? It's not Boker. Okay, it's boker, boker, like boker tov, boker tov, good morning. Okay, fourth one natin is the word outside. So, ano yung outside in Hebrew? So, outside in Hebrew is bachutz, 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 okay? Yesh mezek avir tov, bachutz. So, ulitin ko, yesh mezek avir tov, bachutz, which means there's a good weather outside. Parang ngayon lang. Maganda yung panahon ngayon. Fifth word natin is the word sweet potato. So, ano yung sweet potato in Hebrew? So, sweet potato in Hebrew is batata. Ba-ta-ta. Batata. Okay? And example natin dito is ani o hevet batata. Ani o hevet batata. Which means I love sweet potato. Okay, sixth word natin is the word stomach, abdomen, or tummy. So, ano yung kanyang Hebrew translation? So, ang Hebrew translation ng mga words na yon ay beten. 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 Halvay shesh li beten shtucha. So, ulitin ko. Halvay shesh li beten shtucha. Which means, I wish I had a flat stomach. Okay, seventh word natin is the word together. So, ano yung together in Hebrew? So, together in Hebrew is beyachad. 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 Example, Beyachad Lenetzach. So, ulit nyo ko, Beyachad Lenetzach, which means together forever. So, eight word natin is the word medium. So, ano yung medium in Hebrew? So, medium in Hebrew is Beinoni. 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 Ani Beinoni Bamida. So, ulit nyo ko, Ani Beinoni Bamida, which means I'm medium in measure. Ninth word natin is the word Egg. So, ano yung egg in Hebrew? So, egg in Hebrew is beitza. 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 Ani makina beitza mekushkeshet. So, ulitin ko. Ani makina beitza mekushkeshet. Which means, I'm making scrambled egg. And we are down to our last and tenth Hebrew word for this vlog. And that is beer. So, ano yung beer in Hebrew? So, beer in Hebrew is bira. B. 
ra bira roba anashim o habim lishtot bira so ulitin ko roba anashim o habim lishtot bira which means most of the people love to drink beer and that's it mga kaunikos and mga kaunikas. I hope meron ulit kayo mga bagong Hebrew words na nakuha or natutunan dito sa ating vlog for today. And I hope you found this video helpful as well. And if you didn't, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And kung hindi pa nga kayo nakakapag-subscribe dito sa aking channel, that please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button beside it para ma-notify kayo every time na meron akong upload na bagong video. And kung kayo merong comment, suggestions, or anything, I mean any Tagalog term na gusto nyo ipatranslate in Hebrew, then please don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. Okay? Para makagawa ulit ako ng panibagong Hebrew tutorial para sa inyo. And in addition, kung kayo merong mga kakilala na gustong matuto ng Hebrew language, Anyone, for example, kakilala nyo, best friend nyo, friend nyo, asawa nyo, pinsan nyo, or anyone else na gustong matuto ng Hebrew language, then you can share this video para naman makatulong tayo sa kanila. And of course, para po to sa mga bagong caregivers na kakadeploy lang dito sa Israel and nangangapapa lang sa Hebrew language. And para din po ito sa mga aspiring caregivers na gustong makarating dito sa Israel kasi nga, isa po sa mga requirements is kailangan nyo mag-undergo ng Hebrew training. I hope makatulong tong video na to sa inyo kahit pa paano. And thank you so much for watching until the end. And I hope makita ko pa kayo next time. Bye!